And one of the things that we need to look at is writing a fraction as a mixed number. Okay, and what that means is, is, is your answer is going to have a big number and then a fraction. For instance, a 1 and then a 1 half, okay, um, rather than just as a fraction like this. Okay, and it's very, this, is, this is one of the more simple things that you'll actually do once you get the hang of it. What you do is this is a denominator. You divide it into the numerator, okay? So uh, 6 goes into 20 how many times, okay? Well, I think uh, if, if I think about it, let me try 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. Yeah, that'll get me close. Okay, so I'm going to say, okay, so it's 3. 3 times 6 is 18. I subtract those, and I finish with 2. Now, instead of putting a decimal point here and keep going as a decimal, you can stop because they just want it as a mixed number, okay? So here's going to be my answer. This number here, right here, is going to be my big number. So I'll write a 3 right there. My remainder is going to go on the top of the fraction, so that 2 will be my new numerator. And, of course, the denominator doesn't change. Okay, so 3 and 2 sixths. Now we can reduce that as 3 and what number goes into 2 and 6? Well, 2 will go into both of them. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 2 divided by, or I'm sorry, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So this does reduce down to 3 and a third. But you kind of see that's where we're getting the, uh, that's where we're getting the numbers here. How about 3 and 14? Uh, let's get out of that. Uh, 3 goes into 14. Again, we're not going to go decimals. We're just going to look for our remainder. All right, well, let's see. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9. Uh, that doesn't get me close. How about 3 times 4? 3 times 4 is 12. Yeah, that'll get me close. So we'll say 3 goes into 14 four times. 4 times 3 is 12. I subtract, and I get 2 as my answer. So remember, 4 is my new big number. My remainder is the new numerator. And my denominator does not change. It's 3 here, it's 3 over here, so 4 and 2 thirds. There is no number that goes into 2 and 3, so we're good right here. Alright, last one. 4 goes into 5. Well, I know 4 goes into 5 one time. 1 times 4 is 4. I'm going to subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. Okay, so my big number is going to be 1, and my remainder is my new numerator. It's also 1. The denominator is 4. It does not change. There is no number that goes into 1 or 4 other than 1, and it would keep everything the same. That's how you write a fraction as a mixed number.